Hi and welcome to week 10 of World History 2. This video will serve as a preview for the week ahead. So in this video, we're going to examine the profound impact of Napoleon Bonaparte, the enigmatic figure who left an, an indelible mark on Europe. We will start by unraveling the impact of Napoleon and the Napoleonic Wars. Then we'll delve into the reasons behind Napoleon's fall from power. Moving forward, we'll explore how the Congress of Vienna sought to restore order to Europe in the wake of the Napoleonic era. Lastly, we'll examine the enduring legacy of Napoleon. So, we'll begin by understanding the impact Napoleon and his wars had. Napoleon's rise to power and his subsequent military campaigns across Europe had far-reaching consequences. First were, that was, were those of territorial expansion. So France expanded its empire, influencing the map of Europe. His conquests reshaped boundaries and challenged established monarchies. Second would be legal reforms. Napoleon implemented a series of legal reforms, collectively known as the Napoleonic Code, which served as the basis for modern legal systems in many countries. Third would be nationalism, so the Napoleonic Wars sparked feelings of nationalism as various European regions resisted French dominance. This sense of national identity played a significant role in shaping the future. And the spread of ideas, of course. Napoleon's campaigns brought enlightenment ideas to many parts of Europe, contributing to the spread of liberal and revolutionary ideals. We'll be exploring the reasons behind Napoleon's fall from power, Despite his meteoric rise, his rule eventually came to an end. So first would be overextension. His relentless, his relentless pursuit of conquest led to overextension of French forces and resources, ultimately weakening his position. Coalition warfare was another, so European powers formed coalitions against Napoleon, making it increasingly challenging for France to maintain its dominance. And the key Russian campaign, the disastrous Russian campaign in 1812 marked a turning point for Napoleon with his forces and uh, suffering greatly uh, from large losses. And fourth would be his defeat at Waterloo. This is his final defeat at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, which led to his exile to the remote island of St. Helena. So we'll move on to the Congress of Vienna too. This is a Congress which sought to restore order to Europe after the upheaval of the Napoleonic era. This diplomatic gathering held in 1815 aimed to achieve several key objectives. One was the balance of power. So Congress worked to establish a balance of power among uh, European nations by trying to prevent any single country from dominating the continent. Second would be territorial adjustments. Borders were redrawn and territories were redistributed to ensure stability and compensate nations for their losses during the Napoleonic Wars. Third is an important principle known as the principle of legitimacy. The principle of legitimacy aimed to restore legitimate monarchies, further ensuring stability. Fourth was compensation. As you might already know what that term means, some countries received uh, compensation for their wartime sacrifices fostering a new sense of cooperation. Lastly, we'll examine the legacy of Napoleon. His impact extended well beyond his time. So first, we had legal reforms. Uh, that would be one aspect of his legacy. His Napoleonic Code remains an influential um, document in many legal systems and has laid the foundation for modern laws. Second would be the rise of nationalism. So during the Napoleonic era, it shaped the course of European history through the rise of nationalism and contributed to the formation of modern nation states. Militarism would be third. Napoleon's military strategies and tactics influenced future generations of military leaders, whether they had um, been allies of his or not, or whether they had respected him or not. And fourth would be the cultural impact of Napoleon. His influence is evident in art, literature, architecture, and has left an enduring cultural legacy. So to conclude, the story of Napoleon is a testament to the transformative power of individuals and the enduring impact of historical events. Understanding these chapters in history is crucial to grasping the evolution of Europe and its impact on the world.
So during this next week, we'll be delving into more detail into each of these subject areas, and I look forward to seeing you and working with you during the week as well. Thank you.